welcome. Previously we added whole numbers and uh, we used the sign plus. Now we are going to be subtracting so we'll be using the sign minus. We will restrict ourselves so that the result from our subtractions will also be whole numbers. So if I subtract a whole number from a whole number my result should give me a whole number for now. Let's do for instance 8 minus 5. So we are subtracting 5 from 8. So this is 8 minus 5. So what will be our result? Here we are going to also be using number lines. So if I have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm subtracting 5 from the 8. So let's start from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what is this number right here? So from the 8, I subtract 5. So I will start counting from here to here. I'll have 0, 1, 2, 3. So the result here is 3. I can also use counting the stone as we did previously. So I will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stone. If I subtract 5, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many stone left? I have 1, 2, 3. So have the same result 3 as here. Another example 9 minus 4. This is equal to 5. So from our number line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, we will be subtracting 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is this number? Let's count. That will give me 1, 2, 3, 4. So same as we found here. So before we continue, find this by yourself. First, 4 minus 0. Second, 8 minus 5. Third, 10 minus 3 minus 2. Put your answer is that in the comment section. So now moving to multi digits, we line them up the same way we did for addition. But in this case, Make sure that the order is respected. If I say, for instance, 25 minus 12, you should write 25 first and then minus 12. This is the right way. You don't write 12 minus 25. Then you modify the place. This is wrong. So what you should write is 25 first on top and the 12 at the bottom and from here you can proceed to the operations so as we did for addition 25 minus 12 right we will proceed from the rightmost to the left but before we do that let's talk about something we call place value place value if i write one it is only one digit and it's one place that I use. If I write like for instance 32, in this case I use two places. The first place is for the two and the second place is for the three. If I write mm, 149, here I'm using three places. One, two, three. So back to our subtraction, 25 minus 12, I will do 5 minus 2. I will have 3. I will do 2 minus 1. I will have 1. So 5 minus 2, 3, 2 minus 1, 1. Good for that. Another example. Let's do 123 minus 5. 123 minus 5. Okay, let's start. So 3 minus 5, right? Okay, there is a problem. Because 3 is less than 5, I cannot subtract 5 from 3. So what I do is I look at the next place. Is there a number there? Yes. Then I will borrow 1 tenth from the next place. So I will borrow 1 tenth from the 2 tenths. And I will add it to the 3 
and we will make the three 13. So supposed to be 23. I borrow 110 from the two second digit. So here I'm left with one. Now I can subtract five from the 13. So 13 minus five, eight. Here I have one left. So I'm not using these two. I'm using the one. One minus nothing. I have one. One minus nothing. I have one. So my final answer is 118. Let's do one more example. 305 minus 47. So 5 is less than 7. I will go to the next place to see if I can borrow. But I see 0 over there. I cannot borrow from 0. So I look to the following place to see if I can borrow. I see 3. Okay, so that means I have three hundreds and I will borrow one hundred. So once I borrow one hundred, I will split it into nine tens and ten ones. So the nine tens, I will put it right here. And the ten ones, I will add the five and this will give me 15. Now I can perform my operation. Ten. 15 minus 7, have 8. I move here. I'm not using the 0. I'm using the 9. 9 minus 4, that's 5. And here, since I borrow the 100, this one becomes 2. So I'm not using the 3. 2 minus nothing is 2. So my final answer is 258. Let me redo it here. 3, 4, 5, 4, 7, right? Minus. I want to subtract 7 from 5. I realize that 7 is greater than 5. I have to look to the next place to see if I can borrow 1 tenth. Unfortunately, I see 0. So I move to the next place, which is the hundredth place, to see if I can borrow. Yes, I can borrow 1 hundreds so i borrow it so here i'm left with two so from the 100 that i borrow i will split it into nine tens and ten ones if i combine this i should have hundreds so once i split it i put the tens value on top of the tens place which is nine and I put the, the 10 that I borrow here, I add it to the 5, and I put the result here, 15. Now, I'm not considering this line anymore. I'm using the top line here. I will do 15 minus 7, that will give me 8. I will do 9 minus 4, that will give me 5. And I will do 2 minus 19 which is invisible zero, and that will give me two, which is my final answer. Now suppose that I solve five minus two, and I have three as a result. Uh, I did it mentally, and uh, I didn't use any number line. I didn't count anything precisely, but I wonder if I got it right. So I want to prove my, I want to check my result. So what to do is to take the result that you got, add it, to the number you subtracted and if you get the number original number you are subtracting from then that means your operation is correct so what i mean is i'm using five minus two and i'm getting three so i'll come back and say three plus two is this giving me five yeah is five the same right here yes so that means this operation is correct. To finish this section, let's talk about properties when subtracting whole numbers. First, let's just say that subtraction is not commutative. So we will talk about this one later. Second, let's do this. 9 minus 6 minus 1. So first thing is to complete what is inside the parentheses, and that will give me 3. And 3 minus 1 will give me 2. So my result here is 2. Let's 
just rewrite the same numbers 9 minus 6 minus 1 but now let's move the parentheses around the 6 and the 1 so we will still do what is inside the parentheses first and that will give me 5 here and I will do 9 minus 5 and my result will be 4 so we are using the same numbers for these two operations this is operation A this is operation B we are using the same numbers for this we are doing the same subtraction we just move the parentheses around and we end up having different results one is 4 one is 2 so from there we can say that subtraction is not associative so subtraction is not associative so third let's do 3 minus 0 that should give us 3 uh, let's flip it around and do 0 minus 3 this should give us a negative number and that means that we cannot solve it for now so if we have different results when flipping the position of 0 we can conclude that 0 is not an identity for subtraction so 0 is not an identity for subtraction we will stop here for this section and uh, we will continue with another topic in the next video there for now uh, don't forget to subscribe to comment to share to like and uh, tell your friend to subscribe click the notification bell so you once i drop a video you will be notified the first so see you next video